I just had a shocking realization that I left all my money in the car. All my cash in the car. All right, guys, this is the official start to my journey to the other side of the world. I got some stuff to drop off. Those are my two backpacks. Um, I got to go drop off this dog and uh, this dog for the night. And then my buddy will come and stay at the house while I'm gone and keep working. I'm going to drop my son off. I'm going to miss the shit out of this guy. But I am not going to miss this freezing cold snow behind me. This is like 18 degrees today. Oh, it's bitter. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up right now and get on the road. I'll make another message soon. Keep up and thanks for watching, guys. Well, I'm just here saying goodbye to my dogs. Singe. Oh, I'm going to miss the babies. Today's been kind of a pain in the butt. Everything still seems to be closed which sucks, but uh, I did most of the things I need to do. Um, gonna try to get a new phone on the way. Saying goodbye to these guys right now. And that's it. Other side of the world, here I come. Yo, what up? I'm sitting here eating steak, mashed potatoes, potatoes and onions. Mashed potatoes, regular potatoes, onions, and sweet potatoes mixed with steak outside of 7-Eleven with a bunch of drunk people over there. I brought this food with me because I knew I wouldn't be able to find good food at like two o'clock in the morning, which you never can in the United States anymore because everything closes or it's 7-Eleven and the food sucks. Super glad to have this steak right now. I'm not gonna take another bite until I'm done with this video. I got my new iPhone. They, I was supposed to get a black two, 264 or 258 or whatever. This is a 128 white. It's not the one I was supposed to get but we're dealing with it it's gonna go with us because there's no time to change now my flight's in a couple of hours i'm gonna sit here and eat this food wait for my friend to get home and then park my car at her house and yeah peace guys so i'm laying here in the car in the back of the car um my friend who i'm parking at her house for the couple months i'm gone oh damn i left the front window open Anyway, for the time that I'm gone, I'm parking at her house, but she's actually at the airport picking up someone else. So her house is locked, so I'm gonna chill here. I'm gonna get like an hour or two of sleep, probably two hours. Yeah, that's bright. And um, then I'm going to the airport. I'm gonna go to the airport three hours early to make sure there's no problems. And plus that's what the uh, website warns for. I did most of my setup beforehand. I should be all good to go. I'm excited, I'm gonna take a nap. <sighs> well, we made it to the airport. Uh, it's like 7.30 in the morning. This is not my time of day. I slept for one hour, so everything feels a little wah, wah, wah. But we made it two and a half hours early. We're here, we're gonna check in. Well, they just scared out of me. They called me up to the front of the uh, place because I don't have I just have a negative test, so uh, they had to do some approvals and whatnot because most people apparently have the uh, shot itself and a booster, but I'm good to go. I just booked my rooms for the first week. Um, I should have done that a long time ago because the room I want is now sold out and so is the second choice, but I still got some good spots, so that's where we're at. There's the airplane behind me. Uh, I just had a shocking realization that I left all my money in the car. All my cash in the car. Guess who's in Tokyo? This is awesome. Uh, I'm already super lost, but that's fine. I have to leave the first airport, the airport I got off at, and transfer it to another airport. Um, so the guy wrote me down the stuff I needed to know in Japan and Japanese. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This must be like a little pet area or something. But uh, yeah, here we are in Tokyo. This is crazy. Now I gotta find my way around. Hi, Dojo. Well, I made it to the train. 
to try to get into the city of Tokyo. Uh, it's been interesting to say the least. Um, at least when I went to Mexico, I spoke a little bit of Spanish, but I don't speak any Japanese or Chinese or Mandarin or Dao Dog or nothing. <laughs> Maybe by the end of this trip I will, but right now, nothing. Mostly everybody speaking English so far, so it's been good. But I'm on the train. Um, here we go. Hey, we're out in the streets of Tokyo right now, trying to find, oh, this looks like a tiny cab right here. I definitely brought too much stuff for having a broken leg. I got a full backpack on my back, a full backpack on my front. The plan was to just, you know, leave these backpacks and just take small packs whenever I get to where I'm going. But all this uh, getting to where I'm going is going to be serious, so it's heavy. I'm strengthening my leg. It's leg day. Uh, I need a drink and to get rid of the backpacks. I think I found the hostel and I stopped and got this. I'm assuming 90% alcohol. It says pink, so it must taste okay. Um, I got an orange one and a pink one. The hostel I'm looking for is right here. Uh, I just stopped and asked the police. I can drink this in the open. Um, over 20, I guess, is the law. So, uh, cheers to that. I'm gonna hit my a few times before I go inside and then discover my capsule room. I'll keep y'all posted. Welcome to Tokyo. By the way, it's delicious. Tastes like pink lemonade soda. But <clears throat> crap, I lost my little neck pillow jobby that was connected to my backpack while I was walking. I'm gonna have to be more careful about this in my bag because my favorite shorts and my favorite sweatshirt are on the outside of my bag and they have my GoPro wrapped in them. But the pillow is just strapped on my other bag with a, uh, a button that I lost it. <laughs> Whatever, they're cheap. Okay, after much confusion, I am in the right place. Uh, this is kind of cool. You gotta slip into some slippers here and leave your shoes, your dirty, grimy, infested shoes in the locker. Oops. I can finally stand on my right leg. After all day long, I can't believe it. These big lumps in my head are my headphones, by the way. But I'm gonna go check into my capsule. I'll fill you guys in with what that looks like in a few minutes. be quiet but this is my room for the night so this is really cool in Japan they got this situation here where you can rent cars but like just like a bike in the States this thing blocks it up let me see if I show you here that thing blocks it up so the car doesn't go anywhere. But you can just like, the keys are in a box. Crazy. Can I just tell you how friendly all the people here in Tokyo are? Like every time I don't understand something, so, like people can just tell. Like they look at me, they see the white guy walking around with no mask on, first of all. Um, and they're like, oh, do you need help? Uh, this way, everything this way. You know, it's just funny. Everybody wants to help, it's really nice. I can totally see myself coming back here, like 100% this is on my list to come back to Tokyo. I'm only here for 19 hours, so that's a sad day. But those things are everywhere. But I'm gonna go get some food right now. I fly out of here to Hong Kong tomorrow morning. So it's a short stay here, but it's nice nonetheless. I literally love it. Even ordering food is an experience. But everybody's so nice and it doesn't matter. They just help you out. And it's so cheap. Everything's so cheap. Even in uh, Tokyo. When I get to Thailand and Philippines, it's gonna be even cheaper, but. So I can see what's going on around here. Fucking ambulances even go slow here. They wave to me as I wave them to go by. There has been so many hot girls coming from that direction. 
and then going in that direction. I'm wondering if there's like some strip clubs down there or something. It's gotta be something, cause this late at night, that many hot girls in skirts, and then they all come over here and they get in a cab. Like those girls are all in skirts, super hot. Sorry to be weird, but it's the third time it's happened where a group of hot girls comes from that direction while I was waiting for my food. And yeah, it's a thing. I'm just curious, but I'm not going that way because I'm going to eat this food back in my room and go to bed. I got a flight at 9 a.m., which means I got to get up at 6 because I have no idea, or maybe 5.30. I have no idea how I'm getting to the airport yet. Oh, I'm not sure how this happened. I walked eight minutes to go get food, which I got. I had a conversation, and then I think I walked in the wrong direction because now I'm on a bridge, and the hotel is 13 minutes walk away. It was only eight minutes walks to get the food somehow. I'm okay with it. I'm not in a big rush. I'm trying to stay awake most of the night so I can sleep most of the ride. Tomorrow on the plane is like seven hours. But I need my Google Maps. I'm in a big confusing above ground tunnel. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Look at this granite building. Like all those pieces are granite. Do you know how expensive that it is? And it goes all the way around that building and all the way down. Sheesh! And obviously it's not an apartment building because there's no lights on, so that's some kind of office building. Crazy Tokyo life. I'm walking like seven minutes, my ankle hurts. It's not even my leg, it's my ankle. And it's just above my ankle. Well, I guess it's kind of where my leg is broken. <laughs> it hurts. I don't know how they ended up in this giant maze above ground tunnels. <sighs> We're gonna find this place. It still says seven minutes away. All these tall buildings everywhere. But I didn't walk this far to go get my food. Ay. Well, how considerate of them to make a bike ramp slash wheelchair ramp on all their stairs here in Japan. Makes it easier for me to walk down. For some reason I can walk downhill better than I can walk on stairs. I was just about to start think I was walking in the wrong direction because nothing looks familiar. And finally, those cars I talked about earlier and the way you could rent them is familiar. I don't wonder, I wish I could rent a bike. Oh my God, I walked way too long to get this food. My leg hurts so bad. Luckily, I'm just doing plane it all day tomorrow. So I'm gonna be on a plane and then I'm gonna take a giant nap and then I'm gonna go out to a rooftop bar for New Year's Eve. Uh, I just can't wait to be in my little tiny bed. Relaxing. I need some ice. Oh God, I need some ice. Oh my God. Be ask and she shall receive. I asked for an ice pack. I got one. This I'm so thankful for this right now. My leg hurts so bad from this giant walk to get this food. Yes. The small things in life. Right here, I wanted to be quiet in the hostel, but I just threw in a couple of pictures of the place and there are thousands of anime movies they had right here. And here's just a look around my little capsule room. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you watched all the way to the end, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you all again so much. I can't wait to show you this entire travel and this whole trip. Thank you guys.